the organ here in Heswell's Methodist Church has probably the most interesting history of any of the organs in Heswell. It was originally made in 1909 by the London-based firm of Lewis and Company. And then in 1949, one of the most famous names in organ building in Britain, uh, Henry Willis and Sons, came and enlarged it and, and reconstructed the organ. But then disaster struck in the mid-60s when the roof over the organ chamber had a serious problem and lots of water came inside the organ. And water and organs are a bit like water to the, to the witches in uh, The Wizard of Oz. They're absolutely devastating. Um, so Willis's came back and they took the best bits, the salvage bits, and they reconstructed the organ on a new purpose-built gallery on the south side of the church. A few bits and pieces have been done since, most recently by Keith Ledson when he did some electrical upgrading works. The music I've just played is by Josef Haydn and it's from one of his collections of musical clock music. Haydn was Austrian and the Austrians were really keen on organs and clocks and they were champions of combining the two. And all the towns and villages that, that were anything had one of these clocks and I can quite imagine Heswell in Austrian times having a wonderful organ clock right in the centre. And every 15 minutes instead of a little bell going tingling it played music. They often didn't have very many pipes, uh, sometimes only 16 or 18, um, but they wrote these beautiful miniatures that sound just wonderful on organs. The vast majority of organ pipes are made out of metal, and it's a mixture of lead and tin, roughly 50-50%. And that gives a, quite a soft material, but it's a quite a dull appearance. When we add a little bit more tin, we get what we call spotted metal and as the metal cools the two materials separate out slightly and we get a very nice spotted pattern but as well as organ pipes there are various parts that are made out of metal because we have to transfer the wind around an organ and they can be in all sorts of weird shapes to get around something an obstruction this is made out of plain metal and all the mitres are carefully cut and then soldered. We use uh, heavy grade soldering irons um, and all the metal is then soldered together to make a wind tight tube. The sounds that I use when I played the music uh, is exactly the same sorts of sounds as would have been heard by these musical clocks because they were, after all, organs. <laughs> <laughs> 